The stars, the movement of the stars, stars in the north and the south, even though the north and the south doesn't exist. Black sun coil, vibes of cosmos, everything is so simple once you understand. So let's read clearly. Stars, regions, and black sun coil. Remember this uh, schematic here is so super awesome if you had a book and just to sit down and read. The celestial electromagnetic dome where the stars are captured is divided into the inner region where it is observed from northern place of the earth even though north doesn't exist but so do you understand what i'm talking about so the inner region observed from the northern countries in the world and the outer region which is where it is observed clearly from the far southern earth's places like south america and australia and south africa and all that stuff so we don't see all the layer of the stars imprints because of the perspective of the horizon real world physics for how high they are in the inner region the stars move converge towards the north while in the outer region they diverge do you understand the difference between convergence and divergence converge diverge i love divergent um in the movie as well this is because the outer region stars are outside the bounds of the lower cosmic ray circle or call it the electromagnetic energy of the black sun which is underneath the earth which you are not allowed to explore so because the outer region stars are outside the bounds of this uh, electromagnetic energy and so their paths appear to diverge due to the dynamics of the source's motion we've said before that it is a dynamic electromagnetic field all the time accordingly as we know the stars that are within the lower energy circle converge towards the north due to the geometry of the source dynamics and pause the video here let me make it this is the black sun here with the diameter and the spiral but the black sun moves uh, uh, underneath the earth the earth is way bigger than the black sun that's why you have an electromagnetic dynamic field and that's why you have convergence and divergence with for the stars depending on where you live as well in this world so yeah let's read more because it's getting even more interesting the moving source that causes the cosmic energy call it electromagnetic energy cosmic is just the way that he decided to choose i like it but in case you don't like it it's just electromagnetic because even you are electromagnetic and your soul is electromagnetic so this moving source works like a tesla coil nikola tesla didn't invent anything he just knew all this so depending on where the center of excitation is because it's vibration it moves it creates different angles every moment making the constellations rotate around the pole star polaris at a certain speed it also captures the sun and the moon positive and negative energy in different positions so that we also have their movements with different relative speed and angle of incidence because the sun and the moon are electromagnetic they're not physical these movements are described in the antikythera mechanism we're going to talk about the antikythera mechanism um some youtubers have covered it but from a very indoctrinated position and lack of information and lots of ignorance so as the source moves spirally in n spirals you see here the source of the black sun diameter and the spirals it creates every moment different conditions of incidence the angle of incidence of that radiation it's electromagnetic therefore it's radiation the sun is radiation as well uh, the diameter d of the spiral of the black sun has a certain length much smaller than the diameter of the earth you can see here the diameter of the of the moving black sun is smaller so it moves all the time that's why it creates the dynamic uh, field and that's why you see the stars so differently the diameter uh, so it's smaller if we consider that the stars are imprints because you no know, the radiation hits the earth and the oceans and then you have the imprints on the ceiling on the electromagnetic dome if we consider that the stars are imprints of points of the earth itself the energy spots and the great depths like we've seen we divide the earth and thus the stars into two regions that's why you have the inner region and the outer region because it's so big but the sun the black sun here is so small in comparison with the earth so you have two regions um in that which is within the diameter of the downward spiral movement so 
the stuff that's contained uh, uh, within the diameter of that movement uh, of the black sun and then we have the one which is outside of that movement of course the black sun is moving and you're gonna have an electromagnetic dynamic field all the time so the first capture stars converging towards the north those which are within the diameter of the of the spiraling black sun and the others uh, are divergent so the outer zones like that are divergent it's i'm reading and i'm showing you of course this in order to understand this you have to sit down read the text and then you you check the the schematics and then you understand and then you look again at the inner region stars and the outer region stars and you understand the whole thing about the imprints and the electromagnetic field and everything makes sense now don't expect uh, for so many years of indoctrination with the spinning ball with curved water and then with the classical flat earth map with the perfect ice wall circle don't expect to understand all this in five minutes i did it in uh, a week but because i just took it upon myself to be open-minded and and uh, with not so much indoctrination but people the big majority of them they don't like to leave their comfort zone so that's the end of the story so that's it easy simple short and to the point no sugar coating and no blah 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 remember once you understand that nikola tesla was no genius he just knew he wanted the world to know as well and he was one of the last humans back in the day who got to such an extent of i mean if nikola tesla if the internet was back then because the internet has always existed it's just they gave it to us after the second world war and in the 80s and the 90s as an experiment if the internet was around in the days of nikola tesla they would have never allowed that to because nikola tesla was like a white sensation in the world why do you think this whole thing about free energy and everything is free well this is why because we live in an experiment and everything is electromagnetic heck you and i are electromagnetic that's why the energy is free that's why the temples and the churches of the so-called tartaria which never existed because it was like several human empires those buildings are electromagnetic why do you think that is well so you see what, how vibes of cosmos connects all the dots even with the buildings and the churches like the so-called tartaria which is not tartaria and with nikola tesla and with the shape of the world and um, with other stuff and again don't like people say oh where's the ice wall have you ever seen a perfect ice wall we only have the some writings of james cook but james cook could have just reached a certain portion of ice look at how big the earth is compared to the typical map that you've been indoctrinated with along these so many years of typical uh, flat earth groups versus uh, spinning ball earth curved water groups do you get the point People just like to uh, fight like in politics, right wing and left wing, or like in sport, you know, this team versus this team. We are the good guys and the bad guys. We are the white hats and the black hats. There's more to um, this than just your typical confrontation. So I hope you understood. And I will see you guys with more Vibes of Cosmos stuff in the next video. Take care.